Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this um, the subtractive groove in FreeCAD, and that's this tool right here. Um, and I'm actually going to walk through modeling the same, the, you know, the uh, a likeness of this icon. It's actually a pretty good way to practice, and you know, trying to model some of these features in FreeCAD, um, you know, will will sort of push you a little further than if you just, uh, you know, made a groove that was more simple. Um, so, you know, with that, I, I just want to mention, uh, first of all, that I, again, have a FreeCAD article for this. If you head over to FreeCAD Info, you'll see it there, and I'll put that link in the description. And I also wanted to re remind you to check out Patreon for the three main developers, Yorick, Von Haver, um, and I'll put the link in the description, Real Thunder, and uh, Kurt Kremetsky. And uh, I'm going to have to ask them for pron pronunciation so I don't get that wrong. <laughs> But anyway, let me get started with a, with a new document and we'll walk through this. Now there's a day between when I did the article and, uh, and did, did the video, so you'll have to bear with me. I might forget how I did it. Um, so we're gonna do a new document and we'll do, a, um, we'll, we're gonna start out with a uh, additive cylinder and we don't even need to add a body because it'll do that for us in the case of an added cylinder. And we're just gonna leave it where it is because, um, or actually, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna put it on, let me bring that into view. And we're gonna put it on the X Z plane so it already starts out on its side. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna set this angle to 90. So we just get a quarter of the cube. And we'll, let's, we'll leave its radius at 10, and, but we're gonna make it a little longer. So let's make it 50, uh, nope, not 50, that's, so we're, you know, like I said, we're just gonna make a, a likeness of this so it may not be exact. Um, let's make the radius 20, because that, I think that seems a little bit better. Um, you'll notice I ignore a lot of a lot of errors because uh, sometimes it's giving you errors that that uh, are transient. Let me get it out of the way. Oops. The errors are transient and they don't really affect what you're doing. Um, like uh, one of them was basically because I didn't have a value in there. So let me let's subtract out the inner part here. So now we'll do a subtractive cylinder. And again, we'll put that on the XZ plane just like before. And we'll make the radius, we'll leave the radius at 10, but we'll have, we have to make the height the same. And you see how it protruded through there and now that height is the same. We don't need to change the uh, angle because we're just lopping off a piece so it can't lop off what doesn't exist. And I won't be adding the line. So, you know, so this one has that line. I'm not gonna add that and I'm not gonna do color. You can, you'll have to figure that out on your own for now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do this the easiest way. Um, it may not be quote unquote the right way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this bottom face and I'm gonna add a sketch to it. And what that allows us to do is position the revolve right exactly where we want it. So I'm gonna put the revolve, um, let's see, I, we can do this. And and here's the thing I'm not sure I recommend doing, but I wanna sh I like to show it. We can do external geometry so I get the line um, of that external geometry. I don't know if you caught that. I, I picked the external geometry and then the line of the piece we had there. So the reason I stay away from that normally is because the value that this line is stored under, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, external edge uh, one, that can change. So if I change any of these underlying structures, that name can change, but this constraint isn't smart enough to change with it. Um, so it can lose its, um, uh, affiliation, I, I guess, I don't know. Um, so we're just gonna put this circle right on there and we'll slide it up into place. And uh, and then let's set this to an actual value. So we'll just set it at, let's set it at six. Nope, that's too big, it's gonna look different. We'll let's set it at five. So again, we're just, you know, we're just making a likeness. So the way the, um, the revolve is gonna work, it's gonna cut material out of this and we're gonna be revolving around the origin. And in this case, the, uh, the y-axis of the sketch corresponds with the y-axis of the document. And that's something that get, get you real, get in, in trouble when they don't match up. So that's, so the next thing you simply do is, is select with the sketch selected, and you can do that by clicking on it. You can also move with up down arrows as I'm doing here to select. And the other way you can select is by clicking it just if you didn't know that, now you do. And now click Revolve. 
and you'll see that it defaulted to the vertical sketch axis, which is great. If it doesn't, you can pick. You can pick which, you know, if it doesn't default to the one you think it should, you can pick, pick which one. You can also do uh, other references. You can also select a reference, and the reference can be, I think it can be any line, but we'll find out in a second. Let's see if it, that one probably won't work. Nope, cylinder edge, it did. And I'm surprised it revolved correctly, but it did. So as far as I understand, it has to be a valid edge. I can't tell you right now what a valid edge is. So that's it, it's real simple, um, a valuable tool. Uh, probably a tool you'll use semi-frequently, not as frequently as some of the others, but uh, I hope that helps. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, hit uh, alert if you uh, if you want to be notified of when I release videos because I'm I'm sporadic and weird with releases and then I try to also update I also try to specifically release all of them on patreon some I don't announce on YouTube but I, I announce on patreon because I'm trying to give some benefits to uh, those who hit me up on patreon all right well have a great day and I'll see you next video